In this tutorial, we're going to walk you through the process of networking your Clinton DVR. To begin, access the network menu by right-clicking with the mouse, select Main Menu, then select the network icon. Change Dynamic IP from Off to On. Click the checkmark button to save the network settings. After the network information is obtained, re-enter the network setup menu. If the IP address changed, turn dynamic IP off, then click the check mark to prevent the DVR from pulling an invalid IP address in the future. Write the DVR's IP address down to connect locally with the CEC Connect app, AVMS PC software, or the web viewer. To connect the DVR remotely, we first need to do some port forwarding. Open an internet browser, then log into the router. The address will usually be in the default gateway found in the DVR's network setup menu. Enter the login information for the router. For this tutorial, we're using a Netgear router. After successful login to the router, find the advanced settings or firewall settings. Then find the port forwarding or port triggering section and make sure port forwarding is selected. Now let's create a new custom service. Enter a name for the DVR, set the protocol to TCP, UDP, enter the web port number from the DVR into the starting port and ending port, enter the DVR's IP address, then click OK or Apply to continue. You'll need to repeat these steps to open the SMS port. The SMS port is used for the CC Connect app and AVMS PC software. After port forwarding has been done, Visit canyouseeme.org to verify that the ports on the router are open. If the router that the DVR is connected to is also connected to another router or modem router, additional port forwarding may be required to pass this port check test. Write the public IP address down for use with the DDNS setup. To set up a free DDNS account, start by opening Internet Explorer. To open Internet Explorer on Windows 10, Press the Windows icon and R at the same time. Then type in iExplore, then click OK. With Internet Explorer open, enter the IP address of the DVR, followed by the web port number in the address area of the browser. When on the page, click the gear icon, then click Compatibility View Settings. Verify that the IP address just entered is listed, click Add, then Close. Click the gear icon again, then click Internet Options. Select the Security tab, then click on Custom Level. Scroll down until you see ActiveX controls and plugins. Click Disable ActiveX Filtering. Click Prompt Download Unsigned ActiveX Controls. Click OK. Now select Trusted Sites. Click the Sites button. Uncheck Require Server Verification for All Sites. Verify the DVR's IP address is in the window next to the Add button. Click Add, then Close. Go to the Advanced tab. Scroll down near the bottom where a security header and a gold lock icon can be found. Check the third option down from the header. Allow software to run even if the signature is invalid. Click OK. Refresh the web page and click Install when prompted. Log in to the web viewer using the client ID and password. After login, click on the DDNS settings icon located next to the version number in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Change DDNS select to noip.com, then click create account. Create a username and password, followed by contact information. Click the checkbox to agree to the terms of service, then click next. Create a desired host name, select cedyn.com from the drop down menu, enter the public IP address that the DVR is connected to, then click Next. Verify that all the information on this window is correct and click OK to confirm. The completed DDNS account info will now be displayed. Click the checkbox for router IP mode, then click Apply. The DDNS info will be pushed to the DVR automatically after Apply is clicked. 
write down the DDNS hostname for connecting remotely with the CC Connect app, AVMS PC software, or the web viewer. If you need further assistance and would like to contact a technical support representative, call 1-800-549-6393 or visit clintonelectronics.com.